I planted these beans about four weeks ago. Now, beans grow rapidly uh, and one can harvest them within about 50 to 70 days. So it's really good if you can space your plantings uh, with enough for a meal or two every two weeks so that you have a constant supply of beans through the season. Well, these beans were planted about four weeks ago uh, and uh, there's two types here. There's the bush beans. Now these bush beans, you don't have to trellis. They usually grow to two to three feet high and there's not a lot of maintenance that's required for them. They grow pretty steadily. Um, however, you do need a loamy soil, which I have got here. One just needs to make sure that you look for pests. The type of pests that one gets with these are aphids uh, and viruses. What I've done with these is I've used both drip methods of irrigation as well as a soaker. I've got soaker lines through here as well as drippers and one of the things that's quite important is that you keep the, the soil moist. I water them every day. I also have shade cloth to protect them from the sun. It's still a, a little bit warm so that will sort that out and with these um, beans here, these pole beans, as you can see they're climbing very nicely up this meshwork uh, and they're going to grow up and I'll be tra tracing them down. The, these brandy white plants are reaching the end of their growing season. They've done incredibly well this season, producing lots and lots of delicious, very large tomatoes which were enjoyed by me and my friends. And this is where I'll be planting them. These are bush bean contender plants. Uh, right, I, I have four squ square feet areas in which I'm going to plant these beans, which means that, and I see that I've got 12 of them, I'm going to have three plants per square foot. I like to remove the plants and these, these areas were watered about 10-15 minutes ago so they're nice and moist and I like to remove my plants carefully from the flats. Let me dig the holes. First of all I also like to just remove the roots. These plants are growing beautifully. I have three holes. One, two, that should do it. Let's get it nice and straight in there. Pat the soil down gently. That's that one, two, to here. Lovely loamy soil. Get it nice and straight. There we go, is that nice? Hi guys, welcome to Stuart's Gardens. So here we are. And I'm going to repeat the same on this side. Anyway, there the beans are. And all that's needed now is a bit of water. Give them a good soaking. Get them up to bed water onto the young tomatoes which are growing close by. These chaps need a nice good soaking. So it must be kept moist, which I will do. There we are. That looks good. I'm going to 
have to add a soaker system to these drippers. I don't want to use the sprinkler system because I'm trying to grow cherry drop cocktail tomatoes and black cream tomatoes here. Yeah, these are about three to four weeks uh, since I planted them from seed. It is the last month of summer and it's now bean planting time. Uh, yesterday I removed the beetroots from this area. I've added fertilizer and uh, I'm going to be planting in the beans here. Let me get on with watering. The watering is completed and now it's time to plant the beans. I'm going to be planting these contender beans. Um, they take about seven to ten days to germinate and then about 30 days after that for harvest. Here the beans are. I'm going to be planting them approximately four inches apart. I'll be planting them about one and a half centimeters into the soil. Right, let's get started. There's a little hole there, and I'll probably pop two seeds in just in case one doesn't take. Operating now. This is going to feed them three minutes, three times a day. I started growing these from seed about 20 days ago. Then I planted them about seven days ago. And now you can see that the seedlings are from color. That beautiful. There they are. Looking so good. Well, this is the third crop that I've put into my beds and these will be harvested in about 20 odd days from now. So, one of these, probably about three or four days I'll be planting some more beans. Let's see what happens. Remember that this is an evidence-based site where I try different procedures to see if they work. Usually I don't know. Is they going to work or not? Or they, the evidence seems to indicate that they will work, but still, sometimes it's, uh, one needs to sort of hold your breath. Or, uh, those who subscribed, I know that you will anxiously be waiting to see what happens to these plants, what happens to those plants, what is going to happen here. Yeah. If you enjoy the kind of drama of the small home, vegetable, herb, and fruit gardener. And cheers from beautiful Simon's Town. As the sun starts to set at Simon's Town, shining down on the beautiful bay on the west coast of South Africa. 